Why are you trying to check the cars if they're open? I can I help you with anything, sir? I'm asking you. Can I help you? I don't know who I you just, are. I, Do you have probable cause to search my property, sir? What? Do you have probable cause, a warrant, to search probable my property? Warrant? Yeah, do you have what a... What does that sign say? A reasonable suspicion to believe that you are recording right now. It's, it's a, a crime detail. to be filming inside of Wrong. the police station. Wrong. It is. He it's just told you that it wasn't. Right there. He just, just told you. The lieutenant just said that it wasn't. It that sign is not a law. It's not. It's a law in this building. No, it's not a law in this building. That's ridiculous to even say. Yes. I think you're completely wrong, and I think that, and I know that you violated my rights. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today, we're at the 121st Precinct here in Staten Island, New York. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so before we go inside the 121st Precinct here, let's take a look around at some of the vehicles funded by the taxpayers that are outside here. So this is NYPD police. That's not safe. I should probably get that fixed. Can I help you? Sir, can I help you? Who are you, sir? Uh, anything with the cause? Why are you trying to check the cause if they're open? I can I help you with anything, sir? I'm asking you. Can I help you? I don't know who I you just, are. I I don't know who you are, sir. I just saw you touching the back door of that car. You, why are you messing with this arm pick? Sir, I would like to know who you are. I don't I'm know. Lieutenant Conway. Lieutenant Conway? Yes. Yeah, I don't need any help, Lieutenant. Okay, thank you. You can't touch the cause. All right, you can. Why, film why can't I touch the car? I don't know if you're trying to break in and steal something. Okay. Why would I break into a vehicle? I don't know. People do it all the time. Well, that's not my that's not my intention here. But, uh, I'm just checking to make sure everything's okay. Awesome. I appreciate okay. your help. Okay, Thank great. You. Yeah. Have a great day, Lieutenant. Lieutenant. You take care. So this is the Lieutenant's vehicle over here. You can see the lights right over here. <laughs> Just taking a look at the vehicles, what's the big deal? There's nothing wrong with that lieutenant, is there? Just because I put my hand on the vehicle doesn't mean anything. I'm not trying to break into the vehicle. These vehicles belong to us, the people. I'm just making sure that they're okay, making sure that the doors are locked so no one else steals anything from them. check this one out we got to make sure right here that we're up to date on inspection everything is safe here hey how are you hey how are you nothing much how you doing sir can i get you a badge number please thanks how you guys doing what's going on man oh nothing much i was speaking to you lieutenant out here okay okay that's it just something, something unique? Can I help you with something? No, I'm okay. I, I, I'm all right. Thank you. No, I was just speaking with the lieutenant out here. That's all. About what? About the vehicles here. That's all. What's wrong with the vehicles? You got, oh, you got for, an issue? Well, yeah. For for example, you know, that has a big windshield. Uh, the windshield on this cruiser right here has a big crack in it. So I was just checking that. It's, you know, it's for safety purposes. Hey, how you doing? How's it going, sir? I'm Lieutenant Chiasano. Hey, Lieutenant. How are you? I was just speaking to another lieutenant. So, um. I don't mind that you guys, like you, like you said, you hang out here, you gotta film, do what you wanna do. The only thing I ask is just please don't yank on the door handles. Oh, I was just making sure that they weren't open. Just, yeah, I appreciate just, that. Yeah, Thank just checking. That for me. I appreciate it. Right? No, but I, I, I'd like to check on all the, I like to check on all the uh, taxpayer vehicles, make sure that they're being properly secured, okay. safety purposes and everything. Because as you can see there, Lieutenant, that vehicle, I don't, it looks like it's in service right here, but it, it has a uh, huge crack in the windshield. Could be unsafe for someone to drive. Okay. Probably should be taking Again, care like of I'm that. Saying, I'm Lieutenant Chiasano. I'm just advising you, please stop pulling on the door handles. Yeah, I'm just checking to make sure they're open. That's all. They're not open. Would you like a contact card? 
A contact card? Con my contact card. Oh, no, I'm okay, Lieutenant. Okay. Thank you. I don't need that. Nice I got your name. Right? Yeah, you have a great day, too. Thank you. No problem. And just real quick, our friendly reminder that the government is always watching us, even though it always seems to be an issue when we're recording them. But let's hope that's not the case here today. So far, no one has said anything about our recording. They didn't like that I tested the door handle on the taxpayer-funded vehicle. Just checking them out. But let's see, if I hold the phone to my chest, they won't know if I'm recording or not. So how would they trespass me from the building without knowing? So this is a test. I'm usually very honest and open about my recording because it's my constitutional right. But we see where that got me last time in Brooklyn, the 61st precinct, my freedom stolen from me for six hours and my property. Let's see. Let's prove their policy to be ineffective. Because if I say I'm not recording, or I say I don't answer questions and I'm not showing them my phone, they have no probable cause. Filming inside of a public lobby is not a crime. So they have no probable cause to search my phone or to take it from me out of my hand because I'm not breaking any laws. So if they can't search my property and I don't answer any questions, which is my Fifth Amendment right, how would they know that I'm recording and how would they subsequently trespass me? Let's find out. Let's test this theory. I've heard a lot of you in the comment section giving me this advice to see. Did I, did I say it was on? I didn't say it was on. Do you have prob do you do you have probable cause to search my property, sir? What? Do you have probable cause, a warrant, to search probable my property? Warrant? Yeah, do you have a What does that sign say? You have your phone out, it's facing me. But does that mean that I'm recording? Yeah, let my boss hand me. I'm not who says that I'm recording? Okay. I just want to make like I said, I, I, I don't want you filming out there, okay, yeah. but it's prohibited to film But I never said I was filming outside to begin with. Okay. You made again, that assumption. You, but again, you're holding a phone up as you're mimicking a recording. I'm just letting you know if you are recording, you're in violation, you're trespassing, and I'm just advising you, you're not allowed to record inside a police precinct. But no one said I was recording. Okay. I'm just saying, just please, okay? You cannot record inside a police precinct, okay? You're holding up a phone. Mimicking as if you're recording. But there's there's nothing illegal about okay. that, Lieutenant. You, there isn't. You're right. But if you are not allowed to film inside a police precinct, you could be subject to arrest for trespassing. Okay? So if you're recording inside a police precinct, you are subject to trespassing. You're subject to But do you, have, do you have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I'm committing a crime? Sir, again, I'm telling you, I don't want any I'm issues with you. I don't want any issues with you either, Lieutenant. This is, this I'm, is the deal. I told you. I understand you that you have an unconstitutional every, policy here. I have every here. right to film outside. I have every right to film it's inside if I wanted to, but I'm not saying that. Okay, there, there's, a, there, there's signage telling you that it is prohibited to film inside of the police precinct. That's not a law, sir. You are not allowed to film inside of the police precinct. Okay, but I never said okay. I was. That's, that's it. You're, you are not allowed to film inside of the police He's precinct. He's filming inside of the police okay. precinct right now, and I'm sure you are too. I am. I'm active on my body wall camera. So uh, I'm just letting you know, if you're filming inside a police precinct, we're going to ask you to leave. Okay. But who you said I was filming? Just hold on. With, just hand me out for a second. I'm going to hear you out. Sure. I'm gonna, no problem. I'm going to just ask you, if you're filming, to leave. Okay. I'm a, by you holding up your phone like this, with your phone pointing towards me, I'm assuming that you're recording inside a police precinct. Well, that would so be making I'm a in, huge assumption because I'm, I'm there was a woman. There was a woman two years ago that was had her arm broken for filming inside the police station, and okay. she actually said she was, and okay. she actually wasn't. She was just saying. So maybe I'm just holding the so, camera up, you okay. know, my phone up, if just because you, I want if you're to. You're filming. I'm going to ask that you leave. Okay. I don't want to answer will, any questions. Okay. I'm not asking you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not asking you any questions. Okay, great. I'm just Perfect. telling you. If you are indeed filming, okay, like I said, I will check. How the would precinct. you know? I will check the precinct cameras. I'm going to check the precinct cameras. If I see that you are filming, okay, I'm going to ask you to leave. If you don't want to leave, you're going to be subject to arrest for trespassing. But can we agree that just can we can we okay, grant something, Lieutenant? Yeah, yeah. Wait, can we just grant something, Lieutenant? Yeah. Holding my phone to my chest, it doesn't okay. mean that I'm recording, correct? Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, okay, you're, great. You're, you're you're holding a phone up, gesturing as if you're recording. But that doesn't mean that I am. 
but again, this is the, this is a normal stance that everybody takes when they're recording. But it doesn't mean that I am. But so, somebody could hold their phone in this in this com- in this manner to, without I'm recording, to though. Check the precinct. Sure, cameras. go ahead, take them, check them. If you are filming, again, you're not I don't see how you would tell from the cameras if I'm filming or not. There are cameras everywhere in this building. I'm yeah. Check the precinct cameras. Sure. If you are indeed filming. I'm just going to advise you to leave. You're not in trouble. You're not under arrest. I'm just going to ask you to leave. Okay. I, don't, I just don't see how you'd know I'm filming or not. If you refuse to leave, you could be subject to arrest. Oh, I, I've been I've been arrested. I've been arrested for filming in the police department okay. before. I'm I'm just saying that there's there's okay, nothing. Do you want my contact card again? I'll take it. Sure. Why not? Yeah, we'll have enough. We had enough interaction at this point. Yeah. And you're, you know, threatening arrest and things. So I want to make sure no, that I know who you I'm are. Oh, for sure. I'm just holding subject, my phone here. You could, be, you could be subject to arrest for. But wait, hypothetically, but yeah, list hypothetically, sorry. Lieutenant. Hypothetically, I see the sign there where it says members cannot are prohibited from recording. So I'm holding. I'm telling you, I'm holding my phone in my chest. I don't answer any questions above that. But if someone came in here secretly recording, uh-huh. how would you stop them from doing that? Would that be breaking the law, Lieutenant? Think about it. I'm trying to prove the silliness yeah. of your sign here. Because if somebody came in here secretly recording, which is the person that would want to do more damage would probably do okay. secretly recording, right? Yeah. But in New York State, there's nothing illegal about secretly recording, correct? So to answer your question, no. Like I would have no idea if someone was recording if they were secretly recording. Mm-hmm. So and then they, they go post that video online. Could you do anything about it? No. Like I because there's nothing illegal. I can't exi- so, That's what I'm saying. That I sign is silly. It's just silly, the sir. Point you're trying to make because technically, no, it's not illegal per se. But if you're doing it inside of a police precinct and we advise you to leave, you could be subject to arrest. So that's why for criminal gonna, trespassing. Yeah. Exactly. In public. Not for filming <laughs> per se. There's no charge for filming. No, I, I'm aware of that. But that's what I'm saying is that it, yeah, yeah. It, it seems kind of disingenuous, the sign. It's kind of like, hey, if you're openly filming, uh-huh. we're going to tell you to leave a, a public lobby, which you have every right to be in, in any other circumstance. Any other yeah. circumstance, I have a right to be here, correct? Yeah. But you're saying because, I'm, because if I was filming, I would be subject to arrest for criminal trespassing. But that seems disingenuous because you're saying that if I secretly record, then that's okay because I can't tell you to leave at that point. There's no way of me knowing that this secret. You can't recording. determine if you're secretly recording. You right and you can't determine you, you can't right determine if I'm recording. Yeah. And I have yeah. reasonable suspicion to believe that you are recording right now. And I'm well, giving the benefit. I'm, like I said, you, I want you, to give reasonable I'm suspicion of what? But, yeah. but you need to have. But, but wait, yeah. reasonable suspicion, officer, of a crime. That's what you need okay. in order to crime detain. To be filming inside of Wrong. Police station. Wrong. It is. He just told you that it wasn't. He just told you. The lieutenant just said that it wasn't. Okay. That sign, sir, you're wrong. Yeah, it no, it's not. You're wrong. The lieutenant just said that it's not a crime to film inside of a police station. In the, I just, he just said that. I'll take your contact information. Yeah, yeah. He just said um, that. Are you paying attention to this conversation or not? Because that's what he just said. That sign is not a law. It's not. It's a law in this building. No, it's not a law in this building. That's ridiculous to even say. So, what's going on there? That's ridiculous. So, yeah. Yeah, you're escalating the situation. I just, I just, um, I just ask again, if you're not here to do a report per se, you can hang out here for a sec. Again, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm, let me do my thing, okay? If I do indeed see that you are recording, if there's a camera capturing your recording device actually in progress, all I'm going to do is just simply ask, hey, sir, you either stop recording. If you don't want to stop recording, I'll ask you to leave at that point. I'm not threatening arrest on you. I'm just telling you, I'm advising you. If you refuse to leave and we determine that you are recording, you don't stop recording. I just don't see how you, you determine that. Arrest the criminal trespass. I just, I, I understand you what you're saying. I, 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 I understand be, what, yeah, yeah. listen, listen, yeah. I might, you've been cordial with me. You've been respectful yeah. with me. Yeah. I'm going to treat you in the same return. Your that. officer, not yeah. so much, but I will just say that there is literal no way of you knowing that I'm recording other than taking my property. And you, Lieutenant, know you can't take my property, right? Because, right? because, like I just explained yeah. to this officer, it's not a crime to record. So even if yeah. you had a reasonable suspicion that I was recording, mm-hmm. which you probably do, right? You probably have a reasonable yeah. suspicion I'm recording. That in and of itself isn't a crime. Yeah, so that's why I'm trying to say yeah. that means you can't take my phone from me right no, now and check, no, right? Exactly. That's the silliness and that's yeah. the pettiness that I'm trying to illustrate here, Lieutenant. And I, I, I agree with you. I, agree with you I understand that you didn't make the policy and I, I, I get it. But you definitely did take an oath to uphold our constitutional rights. 100% so, I take that very serious. I hope you do. I take it very serious. I hope so, you do. Um, so yeah, again, 
I, I want you to be able to do your thing in the most respectful manner possible. And I'm trying okay? to be respectful. And I don't want to, like I said, I'm in no way trying to obstruct you. Again, we just have our policies. I have to adhere to it. And Maybe that won't be a policy anymore. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Enough people, we the people can affect change. And then That's I can true. come back here and we That's can have true. a better conversation. But again... So, I'm just, I just like to hold my phone this way, and that's yeah. all I'm going to say about it, you know? In, um, in other, other notes, do you have anything that you need to, like... Need uh, to can I get a complaint to? form, actually? Yes, I would appreciate yeah, that. that Thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks. Are you recording, sir? I don't answer questions. This is 100% just to prove how ridiculous this sign over here is. How ridiculous it is. Members of the public are prohibited from audio, video, recording, or photography inside this facility. How ridiculous. Hey, Lieutenant. I'm sorry to bother you again. Again, I just want to let you know again, this is being recorded on body one camera. Sure. So, uh, I have reasonable suspicion that you are recording. I'm going to ask you in the most respectful way. You're not under arrest. You're I'm asking control. for my complaint form. I'm just asking you to leave the precinct. For what reasonable you suspicion are, do you have? You are, you are holding a device up to your chest, pointing it for an extended period of time, leading me to believe that you are recording inside of the I like to precinct. hold my phone like this for my safety and so no one steals it. Sir? It's, people speak sir? to themselves all the time, officer. Give me a second. I'm asking you. Didn't I ask you for a, a complaint form? Because now you, I need one. Hold on a second. Hold on. Can we make a deal? If you I will leave as soon as you give me on my complaint there's, form. There's no bothering, sir. I'm just going to hit this. So you're not going to deny me services, I will Lieutenant? I facilitate whatever complaint you want to make. Whatever complaint you want to make, I will facilitate that for you. I'm going to ask you to stop recording. But if, I never said that I was. I'm just, then you're, you're holding your phone up. But is it illegal to hold your phone this way, sir? No, it's not, but you're, you're leading me to believe. But if I held my it. phone like this, like a normal person, and I was still recording, it wouldn't make any difference. I think we're talking over each other. Just give me a second. Give me a minute to talk. Let me say what I got to say. I promise you I will hear everything you have to say, okay? Just give me a minute to talk, because you keep on interrupting each other. So you're holding your phone up in a manner that's giving me reasonable suspicion that you are recording inside of a police precinct. I'm formally asking you to stop doing that. The manner in which you're acting, which you're holding up your phone, I'm asking you to stop doing that. I'm gonna tell you, please put your phone in your pocket, stop pointing your camera towards this precinct because it's leading me to believe that you are recording inside of a police precinct. That's all I'm asking you. Once you put your camera down... But you have, no, you have no reasonable, articulable suspicion okay. of a crime, sir. I'm so, not... So I, I am here right lawfully. So I'm here lawfully, I'm, I'm, and I'm asking for a okay. complaint form, and I will be on my way. If you can grab me a complaint form, okay. I will be on my way. Okay. I, I got a complaint form for what? Wow. What do you, do you because you're, you're, you're assuming, I'm, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to file a formal complaint against okay. yourself and this officer because you're assuming that That's I am recording totally without any sort okay. of proof we, 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 that I'm recording. You have no totally proof. Fine. You have a hunch. Sir, I'm going to ask you. I want a complaint I'll, form. I'll, I'll, I'll do a C-step brief here. I'm going to ask you to leave the precinct. Okay. I'm going to ask you to leave the precinct. Can you leave the precinct because you're recording inside of the precinct? I'm assuming I'm, that you're recording. You're assuming. The you're assuming I'm recording. I have reasonable suspicion that you are recording inside of the police precinct. Okay. So you're going to bring me the complaint form outside? So, no, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk. I'm talking to your supervisor. I'm, I'm, I'm what are you, you doing? Right now, Escalating. To, to leave the precinct. So can I will leave the precinct? Are you going to under threat? Of, if I don't leave the precinct, you will arrest me, Lieutenant. Is that what you're telling if me? If you do not leave the precinct right now, you will be arrested for criminal trespass. Can you bring me? Can you if bring you me a complaint form precinct, outside? We'll talk outside. If you do not leave, can the you bring me the right complaint now, form outside? Whatever it is you want, I'm asking. Can you, you bring me the complaint form outside? Sir, leave the precinct. Can you bring me the complaint form outside? You're 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 ejecting me from a precinct. You're ejecting me from a precinct without knowing anything about what I'm doing here. I'm here to file a complaint. Okay. I appreciate you leaving the precinct. Okay. Again, if you want to talk, we'll talk out here. You're not allowed to report this out of the police precinct. Okay. G A R D A two two three one seven is my shield number. Okay. I will facilitate again for you. 
Get no, good See what he's not. doing? He's in, he I'm escalates. Gonna... He escalates. You're escalating. Yeah. I will talk to you about So give him my complaint for him because you just you just you just unlawfully you just unlawfully removed me from a public building. So I would like a complaint for him, Lieutenant. Please. No one. You have no idea what I'm doing. You have no idea what I'm doing. You have no idea because guess what? I don't have to answer questions. I just saw you. I just saw the film up on the phone. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Okay. But you already removed me. You already removed me. I want my complaint for him. It doesn't matter what you saw. It matters what I what I said. And you're a tyrant, you know that? You're a tyrant. All right, guys, so we're just gonna wait out here for the lieutenant to come back. So approved our point, right? That's 100% a violation of our rights. Yeah, Lieutenant. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do this while I throw it out. Careful. I know, I'm gonna break my neck out here. Want to do this inside? I, 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 unfortunately, I can't have the phone up if you're inside. If you're just a little more. <coughs> Excuse me. I just need the form, Lieutenant. You sure? I just need the form. Okay. So. Uh, and I'll take care of the rest. I'm familiar with the CCRB. I'm okay. familiar with all the procedures. So. The so. summary sheet I have to hold on to. This is the actual report. I, I. There's three ways of doing it. You know. You could do it inside the police precinct. Yeah. You can do it with CCRB. You call it CCRB Direct, or you can call up. Uh, what do you call? It? You can actually call up IAB as well. I'll give you the number for the. the yeah, I have an center. appointment with CCRB this Friday, okay. so I'll be able to speak to them then. If you want to take the number down it's, uh, to IAB, it's 242 741 8401. Okay. That's to Internal Affairs. They could also intake it, spin it off to uh, CCRB as well. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't. Again, you could take this. I yeah. don't know how that works from there. If you could like, mail it in or whatever, but you have a copy of it. Um, well, I'll drop it off at another precinct. That's another thing too. You could do it. I was gonna get into that. You could you could file a CCRB at any precinct. Correct. So I'll just make a command log entry of what happened today. And again, I don't mean to be any like you know. I'm not trying to like. Be I mean, you've been employee. you've been cordial. You've been yeah. respectful with me, but again, yeah. rights are rights, and yes. we have them for a reason, and they're meant to be exercised for a reason. Yes. And that's my only point here. I, and I and also, you. it's very concerning that officer's behavior. Really, yes. it's I'll, concerning, and I'll I'm sure the members of the public, yeah. when when they see how yeah. we acted. When I request body camera footage and everything else, when they see how he acted, I'm sure they'll be concerned too. Because he had, you could see his lack of respect for you was palpable. You know, it was. I'll talk to him. It was, we'll address it. You know, I'll make sure, like I said, I'm not sure that doesn't happen again. He wanted me. He wanted. He want. You see, you did. You gave me the opportunity to say, "Hey, listen, I, I'm not. I really don't want to arrest you." Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to enforce my policy, even though, like I said, I think you're completely wrong, and we're not going to uh -huh. agree there. Yeah, I think that's... you're completely wrong, and I think that, and I know that you violated my rights. But uh -huh. you didn't. You wanted that to be the last resort, right? Yes. He wanted it to be the first thing, right? And that's if he fair. becomes he, that's he wanted me in that cell back there from Jump Street. Mm -hmm. That's what he wanted, mm -hmm. and that's concerning. De-escalation. I'm sure you guys learned in the academy. De-escalation is key that, to every I encounter. All the time, and I, I hope you've recognized that. Yeah, I've, yep, yeah. yep, I did. So uh, again, Sean, again, I, I, again, I appreciate what you do. Okay, I wish you luck with everything, man. Again, my apologies. Again, how this unfolded again today, but again, I'm between a rock and a hard place. You know, I'm not saying I well, disagree with you. We the people. We're going to get that policy changed, so you don't have to I be in a, so. in a, in a hard. Not in <laughs> You're not in the predicament. <laughs> but again, yeah. you overstepped because I you yeah. didn't know I was recording. And I and you didn't know. Why, and that's, that's why, why you called. Checked. I yep. had to double check to say, hey, if he's at least making a motion as if he is, is it still? But again, where do you draw the line on that? Is it is it is it is it, is it is it is it being taped to my chest? Yeah. Is is me wearing a harness? Yeah. And having my camera in here, right? Does that mean I'm yeah. recording or does that give you reasonable suspicion to remove me from the building? You, you, you know, you're, you're, you're right. It's you're a slippery slope. It is. It is. It's a slippery wish, slope. And I wish it wasn't. It's like an incomplete written procedure. It's yeah. A poorly written procedure. If it was, hey, you, you can't record in restricted areas of the police department. Yeah. That would make sense to me. Yeah. And I, th I don't think anybody the would have a problem areas, with that. Yeah, I get it. And I think, like I said, as long as you push for it to get changed, I'm sure they'll have to at least... Address it. Yeah, they're going to have to address more, it for sure. There has to be more clear-cut verbiage in the procedure. Because I'm telling you, I, I studied that procedure five times over. 99% yeah. of it is great. 99% yeah. of it is yeah. great. It talks about, I've read the entire thing too. Yeah. It talks about not interfering, not seizing. Yeah. If someone's even, 
using grotesque language while you're at a traffic stop and they're trying to bait you or whatever they're trying to do. They're trying to voice their opinion of the law enforcement. Don't do anything. Don't take their recording. Don't hinder them from recording. Don't delete anything. It says all that. But then at the very, very bottom, the last page, it says your members of the public are not permitted. What exactly it says there. And again, it's, you know, for him to say that it was a law, it's... Again, it shows ignorance and shows that he's, he, yeah. he, was, he had a one-track mind of, hey, listen, you're breaking the law. I'm going to arrest you. And that's how it was at the 61st Precinct. It could have went down. I didn't have to go to jail. I didn't have to spend eight hours, six to eight hours, forget how much long it was, of my time in a cell. While if you look, there's a, I just did a video about this where um, officers, somebody, they took someone's phone. Yeah. It was still recording. And for hours, for eight hours, it was recording in that, I guess, a bag or wherever you guys keep the phones when you confiscate them. And officers were saying, oh, I love bail reform and I hate it because I get overtime. And, you know, all, they got exposed for saying all these things. Yeah. And, you know, hey, you know, a desk appearance ticket doesn't take, you know, six hours, but I'm going to make my money. These are quotes from officers in the NYPD. And then when these stories come out or how you went over budget by a billion dollars in overtime, you know, there might be a reason for some of the overtime. But again... This is the type of, and then what you just displayed here or anybody else, and when you can't record, the lack of transparency and the lack of accountability in NYPD, this is where the people are like, hey, come on, because if, if I get arrested for filming, yeah. but you're milking, is, shouldn't that be illegal to milk overtime and to, you know, there's no accountability. So that's where the people and, and law enforcement, they have this disconnect. And I work with law enforcement. Yeah. I do. I've, I've done trainings at police departments. Uh-huh. I've done that before. I invite officers onto my, onto my um, platform to speak current and former officers who are tired of the blue line or tired of this, you know, lack of accountability. And they have the courage to come on my channel and speak and say, hey, listen, and, you know, we the people, we're strong on my platform. You know, we're almost a half a million. We, we're we going to make change here in the NYPD. So remember this yeah. day. Again, I support what you're doing. And like I said, your rights are most important to me. So, again, I'm sorry. I find it hard to believe. And but I'm between a rock and a hard place with this. You do rock in a hard place. You do the right thing. I know. I because know. if you do the right yeah, yeah. thing, then you become a trendsetter and not just somebody who's going to be, hey, I'm just going to fall online. Because if somebody told you, for example, that's why this is slippery slope. If somebody told you, it might be cameras today. What if somebody said, hey, listen, anytime you film, anytime someone films the police, uh-huh. you arrest them. Would you do that if they told you to do it? Exactly. In state of mind, yeah, that seems like a total uh, egregious overstep. Doesn't it? But you would still, but based yeah. on your logic, you would still do it. And that's the scary part about law enforcement is that yeah. where is the law, where does the line get crossed to where law enforcement says, hey, you know what? I'm not doing that, right? Because no, you could say, hey, I'm following my job. I'm doing my job. But, uh-huh. you know, Nazis could have said they were just doing their job. Hey, man, I don't know any better. I'm just doing my job. I'm doing what I'm told. So it's a slippery slope. But I understand where you come from, Sean. You know. Take care, sir. All right. Nice you stay to meet safe, you. okay? Good luck, all right? Yep. Take care, Sean. All right, guys, let's get out of here. All right, guys, so we're just getting out of the 121st precinct here in Staten Island, New York. So, first of all, this building, the architecture of this building is amazing. I saw it on Google Maps and I had to come here. Second, this was completely uncalled for you know there's times where you have a tyrant like that officer there 100 percent tyrant there's no doubt in my mind and i express my concerns to the lieutenant the lieutenant i wouldn't say he's a tyrant i would just say that you know he's making really bad decisions because he did de-escalate the situation or at least he tried to he didn't arrest me immediately which is what happened at the 61st precinct he didn't violate my rights by trying to grab my phone he wasn't as ignorant as his officer was saying that that sign was a law inside of this building, which is completely, you know, ignorant. You know, this one's hard because we had a tyrant officer who had no respect and no regard for his supervisor. He should be held accountable. I know you all just watched the video. You saw this. No respect for his supervisor whatsoever. None. So how is he going to have respect for the public? Oh, wait, he doesn't. He proved that today. He has no respect for the public. None. So of course he doesn't have respect for his supervisor because we are his supervisors as well. We the people. The lieutenant, as nice and as cordial, as respectful he was with me, he still violated my rights. He did what he was told. He made a phone call, according to him, 
spoke to a higher up, a captain or higher, and they told him if he is holding his phone in a manner that would indicate that he's recording, reasonable suspicion of recording, <laughs> reasonable suspicion of recording, not reasonable suspicion of a crime, reasonable suspicion that I'm recording and I was trespassed from the public lobby. Ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. That officer needs some coaching. He needs some training. He needs some discipline. The lieutenant, he made a really bad decision here today. Again, I find it very hard to be disrespectful with officers or supervisors, in this case, a lieutenant, that he's treated me nothing with, with nothing but respect. He did. He didn't raise his voice. He didn't use profane language. Totally different than every other NYPD officer or supervisor I've ever come in contact with. But... Lieutenant, if you're watching this video, you still violated my rights. Like I just explained to you, you still followed orders that violated the rights. Whether you agree with those orders or not, you said you didn't agree with them. You said you didn't understand them. And you wish that they would clarify the policy. But yet, you still followed, fell in line and you, under threat of arrest, removed me from the building. Completely ridiculous. And uncalled for. And that's why I have the complaint form to file not against, not only against the officer, but as well as the lieutenant. Because everybody needs to be held accountable. We the people will affect change here. Another lawsuit. Another complaint here in Staten Island. So now we have three. Staten Island, Queens, and Brooklyn. There's only two left. Manhattan and the Bronx. We the people will be seeing you soon. Let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.